all of this <clears throat> is just one moment. What is a one what is this one moment? Well everything takes place in this this one moment. But the mind is the taking place. The mind is the all that is taking place. So the moment is really and considered, it's skiffed over, you know. So what, you know? It's like watching the TV screen. The TV screen, when there's nothing on it, it's pointless. Journal. Ah, now, what are we watching today? TV off. Right, what are we going to do now? So much emphasis on the programs, on the channels, on what's taking place. You go and buy the TV, you don't buy the TV on the basis of, wow, this is a great TV. You're buying it on the size of the screen. The Dolby sound system, you know, the emotional things that attract you to what's going to be on it, that's going to heighten your experience of watching a story on this screen. You don't consider the screen when the channel's on. Enlightenment is, or awakening is, simply someone who can see what's going on, but really has no interest in what's going on. Was more interested in the screen. But when you mention to the one that's interested in the screen, are you watching the screen? This one goes, what? No, no. Mind has been awakened again, you see. And the true you has went to sleep. The sleep in your eyes when the sleep from your eyes or from the eyes has been removed. Awakening is taking place. The more sleep, the more sleep that you have in the eyes, will offer a more profound awakening. Let's look at Awakening then. You're not interested in the moment. You're not interested in the screen. You're not, you're interested in what's taking place. Okay, let's look at what's taking place within you. The more sleep in your eyes, yeah? When it's cleared. Now I see. the more profound the seeing. So it's a reflection of these two eyes. See? Spelling. E-Y-E. -E, I. To give the same name as I as one. One eye. Two eyes. The more sleep you remove from your eyes, 
the more profound awakening. So you know, it's not a case of rubbing the eyes and, wow, everything is as it should be. Look at the two eyes. These two eyes are simply symbols, words, that describe you. I am. I want. I is. I exist. I exist as a man. Second eye, you see. Two-way story. I exist. Yeah, I exist. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. I exist. But you have to describe yourself, this body, this mind that you think you are, to someone else. I am a man. Second I, you see, a reflection of that I. That, this initial I, says it all. I am. What else do you want to know? Anything else you want to know is coming on the screen, you see? This I is the screen. Without the television, no movies, no channels. Second I is the story on the channel, on the screen. So you have to wipe the sleep from both eyes. So the second eye is a story. Ego mind. I am going to the shops. I love my life. I have done this. I have worked so many places. I went to education. I got so many degrees. I, got, I met so many lovely people. I want to be successful and rich in the future. I, 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 I. After you say all these things, and someone says, Can you sum all this up with a very simple statement? Yeah, I exist. The doing and the need to do are something that is not actually taking place in this moment. The doing has been passed. I went to school. Yeah. The understanding of going to school is taking place in this moment. The need to do, the future, what you're going to do, rich and famous and whatever, I am going to do this and I am going to do that, future. You're discussing the future in this moment. So the screen is the moment. And everything that is taking place on the screen, be it past, future, you can watch a movie from 25 years ago. I saw that movie before. It's a great movie. Let's watch it again on this screen. So the dirtier your story, or the more grander, bigger, fuller your story, the more you have to understand when the whole story goes, Wow, that was so much sleep in my eyes. In fact, I can't even really get it all out. Yeah. The initial impact is awakening. The enlightenment is cleaning out the corners, you know. Yeah, this, and then both eyes clean. You have to get rid of both eyes. You don't have to get rid of these eyes permanently, okay? When I say you, the I that you think you are has to be ignored. 
So this, I am a man, I am a name, I am an identity, I am a form, I am a body, I am a human. It's both eyes, you see. I is the first I. I'm a human. There's a story on the screen. You understand this now? This I is the screen. I. Imagine going into a conversation. You meet this girl or this boy. And they say, what is your name? I. Yeah. Tell me some more about you. I. How old are you? I. The place I live, where I was born, the geographical place, they have a strong dialect. They have a strong dialect, like any other cultural city within the country. And for yes, for the word yes, we would say I. Would you like a cup of tea? I. Now, could this dialect be a clue for uh, the people who live in this area? Because you are missing a lot of things, doesn't matter where you live, of an offering to awaken and take the sleep out of your eyes. Yeah? In the very cold climates, you have a lot of ice. Yeah? Ice. Ice. I. So there's always little synchronicities. And as a youngster who, like most youngsters, didn't want to communicate with parents, would simply answer. Would you like your would you like your tea? I in our dialect, you see? So it's very, very easy to come into this, this simplistic way of communicating in a very simplistic need to address, answer. Are you going to your club after school? I. You see, well, this one is very, very normal for anyone else. I? What about yes, you see? But your clue in where you come from may come as a different way, in a different language. It doesn't have to be words. It could be in some sort of environmental thing. This God is absolutely desperate for everyone to awaken. To see through both eyes, you see? Two way, I'm going to leave you with this two way seeing. To see through both eyes. Yeah? To see through both eyes, yes. That's what you learned at school. Who can see through both eyes? I can, miss. What can you see? Oh, I can see the blackboard. I can see the the, the, the chalkboard, I can see the the, um, the the window, I can see the, um, the everyone else in the class, miss. But can you see through both eyes? Yes, I can see everyone else in the class, miss. You're not listening. No, but can you see through it? Can you see that the two eyes are fake? I don't know what you mean, miss. It doesn't make sense to these eyes. They are not fake, you see. They are showing you what you're here to see. A reflection of yourself. But the other, the screen eyes, 
Can you see through both eyes? You see through the story. The story is gone. Channel off. Blank screen. Can you see through that eye? Of course you can. There's nothing there. It's transparent. There is nothing there. There is nothing that the mind can say, wow, look. You have to see through everything, even enlightenment. You have to see through everything. Because the story is simply a story. That can be, can you see what's through what's left? You don't have to do anything. There's no effort. There is nothing left. The mind will try and say, ah, TV, TV, it's a TV. No, no, it's not about the TV. That's the object. What is the TV now portraying? Blank. Nothing. It's nothing. There's nothing there to occupy the mind, to take the mind off in tangents. There's nothing there. So therefore, what remains is simply nothing. There's no seer, nothing to see. So no seeing is taking place. Sleep removed. Story gone, screen gone. there's no one watching the screen because the screen does not portray anything there's nothing to be seen so if there's nothing to be seen there can be no seer because the seer appears to be the one that wants to make stories what is happening on the screen so the seer wants to put the channel back on I want to, that's mine you see that's the story. I don't know. Namaste.